Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth here and I'm going to show you today how to make a PowerPoint Gantt chart using this, which is officetimeline.com. So I'll show you what it looks like first and then I'll show you how you can download it for yourself if you think it's good. Um, what we have here is this new PowerPoint menu option, Office Timeline Free, and it gives you the option to create a, a Gantt chart within PowerPoint. You can make them look something like this. This is the demo one that you get out of the box. And um, I'm going to show you how to create some tasks and some milestones to use this. The reason I use Office Timeline to create Gantt charts in PowerPoint is because often the Gantt charts that I create using my Gantt chart software are not as easy to use or easy to view for my stakeholders. So I'm finding really that stakeholders don't understand how to read a Gantt chart and when you're rolling up 200 tasks into the top 10 things that you need to show them, it's actually easier for them to see something else than um, uh, see something that's been designed for their communication rather than, it, um, oh I've just seen a comment, let me see that, oh right, and um, it's easier for them to see what you're doing in a easier simplified format if you're putting it together in PowerPoint. So this is this is what we're going to start with and these are the three tasks that I've created and I've got two milestones here just so that I'm not starting from scratch really and I can add some more tasks to that. Uh, so we can edit the data and then you get this little pop-up here that shows you the kind of things that you can put in. So I can change the dates I won't have everything starting all at the same time to so make this one start here, I'll make this one start at the end. Oh no, that's 16 days. That's all right because this will automatically change or I can manually change it myself and say, right, it's not going to finish until January. One of the things I should point out to you is that this is free. So there are certain things that you can and can't do with the free version out of the box. And one of the things that you can't do is use percent complete. So if you try to enter a percent complete in here, you will get a message that says, oh, this is part of our paid product. And you can go off and pay for it if you want to. But if you're happy just to create a very basic looking slide, which is good for stakeholder communications, then you probably wouldn't need to do that. You can change what these look like. So there's three options that are free, uh, square, round, or slightly more rounded. And you can have some different colors, so you can color code these. I tend to color code them, so green will be tasks that are going well, and I can make this one red because this is a task that's not going well, and I want my stakeholders to pay attention to it. You can see here with the plus, that means this is a paid product, it's a part of the paid product. So we've got some milestones as well, so again you can change a little bit about what your milestones look like, just basically change the color not that exciting there, but it's some degree of personalization that you can add. Like we can add another task, we can move them around, and so let's add in task four, and I will pick some dates for that, we'll say that that's happening next year as well. So you can see this is not dependency led, it's not fully featured it's, it's not a replacement for Microsoft Project, but as somebody did ask me recently is but how can you do a Gantt chart, how can you schedule when you don't have any scheduling tools available to you within your company, hopefully you will have access to Microsoft products and Office Timeline free as a, as a version of, that you can add to PowerPoint will give you something that you can use at least. So we've now got some tasks, one of the things here is that you can change the date format, so for me it's you know, this default to United States date format will confuse my stakeholders because they won't understand if it's the 1st of February or the 2nd of January. So I will change this to date formats that um, <laughs> people will understand in the UK like that. So that's, you can see that's changed. You'd have to do them for, for all of them because I set that too late. And there's you know, a whole range of different options that you can choose. Oh, task complete is not a good one to show you. You can configure working days. There's, within the paid features, which I haven't got, there's, there's lots of things you can do, but there's plenty that you can edit for milestones um, as well within. And because these are all different areas of, this is just PowerPoint, so if you want to move it, you can move it, you can put it wherever you want. You can change the colors here, 
you know, it's just an, they're just things in PowerPoint that you can change. This bar is quite useful for stakeholders to show them where you are. Again, these are points that you can move yourself manually if you want to, but there's also a feature that will manually change this, that will automatically shift this for you. So if you come back to this Gantt chart in six weeks' time, you'll find that when you click in to edit the data, click out again, it will have moved that bar and the progress bar all the way along for you. The other thing that's quite interesting that you can do is to change the position of this grey bar here. So I like it at the top, but you don't have to have it there. You can have it at the bottom and have your tasks on the top with your line at the bottom if you prefer to show it that way. So there's lots of different options. And I think while this is not the greatest of plans to show you, you can see that there are certainly things that you can do to make this look like a semi-decent um, a semi-decent presentation that you could then put in front of a stakeholder and have them understand that your project has a preparation phase, some requirements need to be gathered, then there's some estimating to do, then here, then there, and then you're into production and handoff. And you've got a very graphical timeline of, of what's happening and the key milestones. And with the fact that these are boxes, you can make this list the requirements or list the people involved or anything you like to just build it into the slide presentations that you're doing for your steering group anyway. So I think this is a really good cheap way to create Gantt charts when you haven't got anything else or you need them as a communication tool and like I said it's free so if you go to officetimeline.com it's a plugin that you have to get through Chrome so you can go to start making timelines and try it out for free. So if you go to here, I mean, you can see this is moving on the screen. You can see that they, uh, that the paid options have plenty of other features that you can create. But for the purposes of using it as a communication tool for stakeholders or a very, very high level Gantt chart in the absence of anything else, I reckon you can get away with these, these basic elements. Because for me, PowerPoint is not a Gantt chart tool and I wouldn't want to manage my projects within it. So having these extra bells and whistles becomes just a design feature that I would have to maintain. But it is something that is available to you. You can download it. It will then add this menu option here and you get all of these different, um, you'll then get your new menu in PowerPoint for you to start using and building your own. Just click start, add new, type create a timeline from scratch or um, use one of the templates that they've got. And the first time you launch it, you will find that it does walk you through a screen quite similar to this that will give you some hints about how to um, set it up, what the different features do. And then you've got, you, know, you, you can easily navigate your way around the different menu options. Okay, so I hope that was useful. That's just a cheap tool for creating quite nice looking Gantt charts within PowerPoint but very little effort and it's very easy to edit and make changes to the data so you can go into that once a month, update your stakeholder presentations and um, impress, <laughs> impress your project board and your stakeholders with your beautiful Gantt charts. All right, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.